MSCI's Emerging uh, Market Stock Index has trailed developed market stocks gauge for about five straight quarters now. And the tide may be starting to turn, however. Emerging markets drew the largest investment flows amongst U.S. exchange-traded funds last week. So what's really driving investors and what's giving them the confidence? Mithali is here with more details on that. Mithali, you know, run us through what you're picking up. Well, it's a clear-cut valuation story here. The gap between emerging equities and developed equities had become extremely wide and smart investors are finding an opportunity to cash in at this point of time. Data compiled by Bloomberg shows that emerging market stocks are trading at 10.3 times estimated earnings for the next 12 months. That's a 33% discount compared to equities from advanced economies. And it's the biggest valuation gap since 2006. This gap is actually making investors bold. In just the last one week, they added $1.6 billion into ETFs focused on emerging market equities and bonds. That's more than eight times the average of $197 million over the past 20 days. Last week's inflow had helped emerging markets by trimming their outflow this year to $12 billion. But it's not going to be a smooth sailing for emerging markets. Morgan Stanley warns that economic growth in developing countries will disappoint investors. They add that emerging market economies have much further to go in terms of adjustment for reforms and generating new sources of sustainable growth. Another interesting point here is that the rush into emerging market ETFs is not uniform. Since the 20th of March, investors pumped in $442 million just into funds focused on the BRIC nations. The notable exception here is that investors withdrew net $42 million from ETFs focused on Chinese equities and bonds.